Hi, I am B. Janardhan Reddy. In this video, I am going to tell you about equivalent resistance of a series connection of resistors. I will show you the derivation of the formula R equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. That is, when the resistors are connected in series fashion or manner, the equivalent resistance is equal to sum of the individual resistances. That formula will be derived in this video. So here, derivation R equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. In this formula, R is the equivalent resistance or the resultant resistance. R1, R2 and R3 are the individual resistances. Okay. So, if the resistors are connected in series manner, the resultant resistance or equivalent resistance of the resistors is equal to sum of the individual resistances that will be shown in this video. Now, what is series connection of resistors? You see here, the resistors are connected across two points in the circuit in such a way that the current flowing through each resistor is same and only one path is available for it to flow. Then the resistors are said to be connected in series. So here, I am connecting three resistors in series manner between the points E and B. Let three resistors having resistances R1, R2 and R3 are connected in series between the points A and B as shown in figure below. See here, between the two points A and B, I am going to connect three resistors of resistances R1, R2 and R3 in series manner. These are the two points A and B between which I am going to connect three resistors. You know, this is the resistor symbol. Okay, so this is the resistor whose resistance is R1 and I am joining the next resistor to the first resistor like this R2 resistor and here another resistor R3 okay so these three resistors of resistances R1 R2 and R3 have been connected between the two points E and B as shown as shown here that means there is only one path from A to B for current to flow, isn't it? So when the resistors are connected in series manner, it means that the current finds only one path or one way to flow through the resistors. Okay. Now I will connect a battery between the two points A and B, that means I have to apply some potential difference between A and B. So, this is a battery of voltage V. I am connecting battery here. So, when some potential difference say V is applied between the two points A and B, current is flowing like this, isn't it? So here I am showing the direction of the conventional current. The direction of the conventional current is always from positive to negative. Actually electrons flow in the reverse way like this, but here in general we use the conventional current direction only. It is from plus to minus. So some current I is flowing through the resistors. That means between the two points A and B, I have applied some potential difference say V because of that I current is flowing through all the resistors. That is in each resistor same current is flowing. 
the same current I is flowing. Okay. Now, when some potential difference is applied here, what happens? The total voltage of the battery will get divided across the resistors. You see, the current I flowing through each of the resistors is same, but the total voltage of the battery is divided. Isn't it? So, some voltage will be developed across the resistor R1 and some voltage will be developed across this resistor and some voltage will be developed across this resistor. So, according to Ohm's law, when I current is flowing through R resistor, the voltage drop across its ends is IR. You see here? Let voltage drops across the resistors R1, R2 and R3, R V1, V2 and V3. That is V1 voltage has developed across the resistor R1 because of the current I flowing through it and the voltage drop across the resistor R2 is V2, say V2 here and here V3. That means the total voltage of the battery is getting divided across the resistors depending upon their resistances. So, the voltage drop across the resistor R1 is V1. Similarly, the voltage drop across the resistor R2 is V2 and the voltage drop across the resistor R3 is V3. That means V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Now, according to Ohm's law, you see here, potential difference across R1 is V1 equal to IR1. That is through the resistor R1, I current is flowing. Then according to Ohm's law, the voltage drop or voltage developed across its ends is IR1, current times resistance. Then we get the voltage drop. Similarly, potential difference across resistor R2, say this is the equation number 1 and potential difference across the resistor R2 is V2 equal to IR2 that I into R2 we get the pot potential drop here voltage drop here similarly potential difference across R3 resistor is V3 equal to IR3 ok let us say this is the equation number 3. So, these are the voltages V1, V2 or V3 developed across the resistors. Now, I will replace these three resistors with only one resistor of resistance R which is the equivalent resistance of the given three resistors. That means, this single resistor will serve the purpose as if the three resistors are there in the circuit. See here. Let R is the equivalent resistance of the combination of resistors in series. Okay. I am going to replace these three resistors by single resistor of resistance R. Okay, so R is the resultant resistance or equivalent resistance of the previous three resistors which were connected between A and B here. And the same current I is flowing through R. When I current is flowing through the resistor R, 
the potential difference developed across its ends say it is v is equal to ir actually okay so we have here v equal to ir because through resistor r i current is flowing then according to ohm's law v is equal to ir okay say this is the equation number 4 but here v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 because the total voltage of the battery got divided across the resistors okay here v is the potential difference between the ends of the equivalent resistance r v1 v2 and v3 are the potential differences across the ends of the resistances r1 r2 and r3 and we have got these values so far let us those values substitute in this equation see here just now we have seen so here v equal to ir v1 equal to ir1 v2 equal to ir2 and v3 equal to ir3 these values we got so far let us substitute these values in this equation so ir equal to ir1 plus ir2 plus ir3 r we can see here take i as common ir equal to i into r1 plus r2 plus r3 and both sides i will get cancelled finally we get r is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 this is the equation we require so here r is the resultant or equivalent resistance of the given three resistors so when the resistors are connected in series manner the resultant resistance or equivalent resistance is equal to sum of the individual resistances okay here you can see here when resistors are connected in series the equivalent resistance is equal to sum of the individual resistances that is r equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 okay thank you